like that overshadowed the two years and any accomplishments that you've made during your time? There's certainly plenty of folks who wanted to nationalize the outcome of this race in one direction or the other. I mean, my focus as the representative for West Michigan in Congress has been on West Michigan. It has been trying to provide the strong, stable, and effective representation that I think all West Michiganders should demand of their representatives in Congress. Uh, and so I've tried to avoid a lot of the discussions, you know, trying to pull the race in one direction or the other. But to your point, I mean, obviously the fact that the DCCC came in with a half million dollar ad buy, you know, shows that they saw something, that they saw an opportunity and they sought to grasp it. So we'll make sure to deny that to them in the early morning hours. Congressman, you, you just used the word nationalize, um, and you also said you were not surprised at how close it was. I'm wondering, the fact that it is so close, what does that say to you about the state of the Republican Party in West Michigan? I'm sure we will have a wonderful analysis and conclusion on that when we get the final results, and there will be more than enough prognosticators and pundits. Uh, again, right now, uh, a lot of the vote is still outstanding. The race is incredibly tight, uh, so it, it may be premature to offer any conclusions on that front. And it's Those looking from the outside who are surprised that it is even this close. You mentioned people counted you out weeks ago. Can you tell them a little bit about the groups of voters that you believe came out to support you when there was deep doubt that you would be able to, be able to even get this close? Yeah, I'll be honest. I, I talked to them at the doors. Uh, it's the exhausted Americans. It's the tired Americans. It's folks who are sick of everything getting politicized, of everything being a, a red or blue, a black or white issue, uh, and just want somebody to represent the spirit of this community, the spirit of West Michigan, trying to get something done. Um, now that may not always be the most popular thing to talk about, especially in a primary context, but that's been our focus while in office. I'm proud of the achievements that our team has been able to drive through. I think we're on track to be a, the freshman office. Uh, well, with the passage of the PACT Act tonight out of the Senate and heading to the President's desk, at least tying, if not on track, to uh, set a new record for the most amount a bill signed into law by a freshman office in modern history. So that has been our focus, no matter what the outcome is tomorrow, though I'm still confident we will prevail. I'm deeply proud of all that our team has been able to do. And I'm also proud of all of the folks that we interacted with who are just sick of the politics, sick of everything being a question of fear or anger, and want to get back to some semblance of normalcy. So with that, I appreciate everyone's patience. Um, I thank you all for coming out tonight. Again, um, I'm sure we'll all be furiously refreshing our phones in the hours to come. Uh, but thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.